Welcome, let's take a look at our top story this hour. Major general level talks are currently underway between the Indian and Chinese armies. Sources reveal that diplomatic talks could also take place soon. Sources say that the talks may involve dialogue at joint secretary levels. Meanwhile, the military level meet comes amid rising tensions between India and China along the line of actual control. Meanwhile, the Indian government has granted the armed forces emergency funds to buy any weapon system under 500 crore rupees. This is the first time that the forces have been granted such financial powers since the 2019 Balakot airstrike. The forces can now buy any weapon system which they feel is necessary during war. The three forces have started preparing a list of equipment that they can procure in the shortest possible time. The forces have also been given full freedom to give a befitting response to any Chinese misadventure. The rules of engagement at the line of actual control have changed and field commanders have been sanctioned to use firearms under extraordinary circumstances, using all resources at their disposal. The army has been given a free hand to deal with on-the-ground situations. Two agreements signed between India and China in 1996 and, nine, and 2005 respectively did not permit the use of firearms during face-offs. Meanwhile, Chinese state media Global Times called the changes in rules of engagement a serious violation of the agreement between New Delhi and Beijing. We are being joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sudan Sibyl, for more on this story. Good evening to you, Sudan. The nature of the major general level talks are currently underway between India and China. What do we expect from these talks? Well, Alison, these talks are expected to continue in the uh, next few days as well. But today's focus uh, and perhaps the future focus is to make sure that the disengagement continues the consensus that was reached on 6th of June, uh, which, of course, uh, China did not follow on 15th of June. And thereafter, we saw the violent face-off between both the Indian and the Chinese forces, leaving 20 Indian soldiers dead. Uh, but uh, by and large, uh, we know that uh, the next stop is the, the diplomatic conversation between the two sides, the Indian side and the Chinese side. Remember uh, that both sides are expected to have a conversation at the Joint Secretary level very soon. The last such uh, conversation happened happened uh, earlier this month uh, ahead of the 6th June uh, meeting. In fact, it happened on 5th June. And that time the focus was that differences should not become disputes. But after the 15th of June incident, it doesn't seem that situation is very good now. It is very precarious. In fact, it's dangerous. And, uh, of course, a lot of tensions between the Indian side and the Chinese side. Uh, we know that a lot of anti-China sentiment uh, has come up here in India. Uh, but by and large, if we look at what is expected to happen, uh, the, the main focus will be to make sure uh, that disengagement happens peacefully because we are now dealing with a very aggressive China, a China that is keen to have its sovereignty over the Galwan Valley. In fact, after the 15th of June uh, incident, we saw uh, two times the Chinese side laid claim over uh, Galwan Valley going against their previous claims. Uh, of course, there was a rebuttal uh, by the Indian side as well, but uh, uh, it doesn't seem that under this current atmosphere, the belligerent atmosphere created by the Chinese, uh, things will be very, very uh, smooth. Do expect a lot of uh, uh, developments and, of course, a lot of tough talk uh, by the Indian side uh, before the Chinese back off. As of now, it doesn't look like the Chinese are expected to back off very soon. Right, so Dan's tensions are certainly high. And uh, with the uh, talks coming expected at diplomatic levels, what, what do you think we can expect from these talks, considering that these two agreements between India and China from 1996 and 2005 are now being breached in terms of uh, personnel on the ground being given free range? Well, uh one thing I can tell you that uh, last two years saw two important developments, the Wuhan Informal Summit and the Chennai Connect Informal Summit, both after the Doklam crisis of 2017. Both sides have come up with mechanism to resolve the border issue and it was expected that this kind of mechanism will help sort out the problems on the ground. 
China clearly did not follow that consensus and it will be safe to say that the Wuhan spirit is now dead. So what next? Through diplomacy, both sides, especially the Indian side, is focusing on making sure that things are resolved. There is no violence uh, at the LAC. But uh, as we have seen across the uh, last few uh, weeks and months, China has been belligerent not only with India but uh, other of its neighbors, whether it is uh, Vietnam, uh, uh, Taiwan, uh, South China Sea, Japan. It's a list of countries the many wars China is uh, right now indulging in. So will talks uh, be fruitful is the big question, though Indian side is still continuing and hopeful uh, for talks. But uh, it is uh, perhaps once in a lifetime opportunity for China to, so, uh, to re-emerge itself. It has been saying that historic injustices have been done uh, to uh, Beijing. So perhaps China is looking forward uh, to use COVID crisis as, a, as an opportunity. The big question is that Will talks help resolve the current border issue with India and China? And if it doesn't, what next is the big question because these are two big powers, huge population, huge size. So two countries sharing the border, uh, two emerging and uh, emerging powers uh, sharing this huge uh, border. Uh, will there be a diplomatic solution or it looks like uh, what China has done? Will there be a strong rebuttal by the Indian side? Sudan, thank you for that report. Our principal diplomatic correspondent, Saran Sabo, getting us the latest there.